All right, first, Nicole with Felix. Um, I think I saw a video camera being utilized during the only shielding. And uh, if I was out there in a the group, not suggesting anybody do this, of course, but if I was out there and I wanted to get me a piece of video footage of what it's supposed to look like, I'd be begging for that video footage. Ma'am, that was wonderful. I would like to say, I don't know if I've ever seen a better on-leash healing uh, exercise performed by a BH level dog. Golly, I mean, I'll, I'm supposed to think of something to say, but, <laughs> but, um, but uh, well, I'll continue. Uh, through the off-leash healing, which is a repeat of the on-leash healing, it looked similarly near perfect, with a one little minor exception, that on the wide right turn, she got a little bit wide. I mean, on the right turn at the end of the healing pattern, she got a little bit wide, saw that uh, she was out of position, and she rushed back into position. That was a pleasure to watch. The dog self-corrected. There was nothing that she did that uh, Nicole did. She didn't look down. She was just doing everything she's supposed to do. And she self-corrected back into uh, the heel position. That was the only thing that I saw that was not perfect in the off-leash healing. Now, I promise you, I don't know this lady. Uh, and, and, you know, she ain't gave me a $100 bill or nothing. But when, you, when we make mistakes in life, we always hear about them. But we don't always hear about the good that we do. So I'm sorry, but I've got to, I've got to be equitable. And on the sit exercise, again, it was as near flawless as you could reasonably expect. The dog sat quickly. Well, on the buildup, she was attentive, remained in, in the exact position. Uh, Nicole's performance was exactly correct. You know, we're not supposed to be walking down uh, the field looking at our dog while we're healing it's supposed to be the dog accompanying the handler that's exactly what we saw an immediate sit a controlled and stable sit and uh, remaining controlled and stable until Nicole returned back got in position and the exercise ended and I'm gonna make a note here for educational sake and ma'am this is a uh, this is part of my official assessment I want to make sure that everybody understands that in between exercises, you're allowed to have mild and discreet interaction with your dog. And if you look at that video, or as y'all review that video, you'll see that she's doing it, everything right. In between each exercise, she reached down, okay girl, we're doing good, we're still in the game, I like what you're doing, and that helps the dog as the as the sequence of exercises are performed because it's stressful for the dog out there also. They know that they're out there and that at any time the handler might initiate a correction. They understand that because that's how it is in training. But yet, in between every single exercise, there was at least a comforting, everything's good interaction and uh, in reference to the big discussion we had last night, over the prime rib, that is an example of what I was talking about last night. So, let's continue into the down with recall. And I would invite or challenge anybody who can tell me something that I ought to mark off on the down with recall. She dropped like a rock, remained stable upon the very first uh, command, which was not in a strong command, authoritative tone it was almost a permission tone of okay you can come back I, I forget what command it was but it was in a tone that okay you can come down here with me and she ran down the field like a rocket and she sat in front of your right leg instead of sitting exactly in the middle oh my goodness gracious I can make note of that but whoop de doo it's a BH Ma'am, I didn't take off anything on the fact that she sat maybe three inches out of position. It's not the 
World FCI Championship. This is a local BH trial. It was fine, okay. Uh, full points for the down with the recall. And she was absolutely stable under, uh, under the distraction. And there was some distraction. Uh, if, you know, the judge is supposed to notice stuff like this. There were some golfers that came by smoking and joking and rattling their, their golf clubs and, you know, lying about what they just, uh, <laughs> what their scores were. And I saw her ear turn listening to the golfers, but she was rock solid paying attention to the handler. Now, you know what? This is a flesh and blood creature. And when she hears racket going on, it's expected. This is not a robot. This, this, the IPO ideology or philosophy is not to create robot performing dogs, but to, to cause our dogs to become as well trained as the dog is biologically and psychologically able to perform under the tutelage of the handler. And so she gets full credit. Now I would, I would say that you know, BH is a pass-fail exercise, but I would say that if it were a 100-point exercise, ma'am, you'd have got 99 and a half, which we don't give halves, <laughs> but some judges would say 100, some judges would say 99, but it would have been either a 99 or a 100-point exercise, depending on the judge. Golly, what else can I say to commend you and your wonderful performance? So, of course, that goes without saying she passes easily.